we are just two weeks until we fly to Honduras and I've managed to beg and borrow all of this equipment from friends and family. Also, our fundraising team have raised a staggering £1,000 each, so as it stands, the conservation trip isn't set to cost me a bean. Last week I had to get all my vaccinations done and I can tell you that they really, really hurt. I had to get a rabies course done so that I can actually handle the bats when I'm in Honduras. All I have to do now in the next coming two weeks is get down the gym and train up this body for all that hiking. Right, I'm just about to start my first climb and it's absolutely freezing in here, minus 14, and I'm not sure that I'm going to even be able to have the strength to hold on to these guys whilst I'm trying to get up, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Well, it's official, fur is back in fashion. All the top designers have reintroduced it into their collections and the celebs are following suit. I'm here on London's Bond Street to find out what the general public think of fur in fashion. Hi there. Now, would you have the patience to camp out for a month just to catch a glimpse of a notoriously shy Jaguar? Or would you have the endurance to trek through scorching desert to find the last remaining white Oryx? Our next guest has survived both such quests and she's here today to tell us more about it. 